What up guys, this is Casey is Raw again, and today we're going to play some Tur TurboGrafx-16 games and some PC Engine games. First, we're going to try on the PC Engine is Space Invaders. And next is Moto Rotor. And here's the box art for this right there. Looks like eyeballs coming out of the freaking road. And here's what the case looks like. Got a couple cracks in it. Got figured this is like 30 plus years old. 89. Uh, 33 years old. So there's the cover art, nothing on the back. And you open it up. It says, have you tried these other turbo chip game cards? Fantasy Zone, Baseball, right? Uh R type. R type is great. Galaga 90 is as well. And same thing with Blazing Laser. Uh Fantasy Zone's okay. It's just not my thing. So, uh, let's go ahead and try out on the, my PC Engine Duo that has been modded. So, I had to hit the switch on the back. And it was cool. I mean, some of the systems, they would make it where you can't set both cartridges. Like the Super Nintendo when take Super Famicom games, they'll have little, little, uh, little things, little pieces that blocks it from playing them. This one, uh, it's in the hardware, blocks it from playing Turbo Graphics, but mine's been modded to play not only PC Engine games, it plays Turbo Graphics 16 chips. And both CDs. So let's go ahead and let's play these games. Title Space Invaders. See, it's in Japanese. Oh, what's this? Um, there's, I assume there's no demo. I'm just curious, what's this? Oh, it's a different version. I was playing this off camera. And I just noticed that. Oh, wow, look at that. It's like, uh, like Star Fox. Wow. That's amazing for Turbo Graphics for that. Plus, Space Invader Plus version. I was more impressed with the graphics before that. I mean, the This is actually not that hard right here. I mean, I could hit it with the freaking, uh, turbo, uh... Oh, now they're running a little faster. Ooh, got it! This is... Hell, a lot easier than game A, for sure. I don't see, uh, like, oh my god. I mean, the graphics earlier was crazy. 
Oh, finally died. Got him. Oh, now they're lower. Uh, I'm hitting, uh, I believe it's the two button, yes. Is your fire. One, the one button does nothing, I believe, because I'm hitting and it's not doing anything. Oh. Got him. Oh. Uh, it's not a bad version, it's just... It's not that hard. And when you get down to the last guy, then it gets harder. Like, look, I can kill a whole row pretty easily. Yeah, when it gets to one, then it gets harder. And I got him. Looks like this one, you could cancel each other's um, missile or fire. I'm going to say missile. Oh, just barely missed that one. Oh, shoot. Oh, I just got him. Want to get him. Oh, he got me. Shields. Oh, what do you got here? Oh, finally blew up. Oh, yeah, that's definitely Star Fox. Look at that. That's an F... Uh, F-wing. Well, you, uh, we'll play a little bit more of this, and, and then we'll play version one. Oh, I got, uh oh, oh, I blew up this time again. It's getting harder. Now I put the turbo, uh... Oh, I didn't... <laughs> wasn't paying attention right there. I put the turbo, uh... Uh-oh. Oh, wow. Probably game over. Let's try this one more time.
this time. Oh! There's game over on this version. <laughs> I assume there is. Oh, dang it. This is going to be fast. What is that? Just gave me two shields right there. Oh, no. Got it. Okay, well, dang it. Oh, so you could just keep continuing. That's why, and I just decided to hit game over. Let's start this back over. Title. Watch this. No, <laughs> he's taking part. Uh, oh, he brought it back. <laughs> it's what it is. It's the arcade game. It looks pretty much arcade perfect, if you ask me. That's what it looks like. And it looks like the guy can't get out from that spot. Oh, there he goes. So, let's start it up. Now both buttons does Oh dang it does something. It, well I mean it fires off the missiles. Oh <laughs> Granted, what this is is the arcade version. And of course, it's going to be harder because, well, you're supposed to spend a quarter every three minutes to be profitable. This one you can't cancel out their uh, their fires because look, I tried to shoot at it. Ooh. I'm in trouble. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh! Oh, I actually got one canceled out. The fire button is not as responsive as when you're playing the, the newer version. The reason it's doing that this faster... Oh, wow! I actually did it! I That's the first time I was able to do that. The reason why it goes faster like that, you're thinking, oh, it's, I mean, it does work in their advantage saying it's a heart uh, panic. But what it is in the arcade, once you loot, no, destroy more of the enemy, the faster. Oh, nice. Uh oh. I'm in deep doo doo. Oh, look how fast that took. I'm about to lose the bases. Oh, damn it. Game over. And it, yep, starts with round one. So, yeah, that was Space Invaders. Uh, it's cool that it has the arcade game. The other versions, the first one I played on here for you guys was actually a lot easier. So, it's, you know, if it's cheap, I think I paid $15. Yeah, it's not too bad for that. I mean, it's the arcade game. So, it's pretty much arcade perfect. So let's go ahead and let's play Motor Rotor. Technically, there's no run button. Uh, never mind, I'm wrong. There is a run button. It's their version of start. Let's do World 1. Now, using a drone to show you what the course looks like. That's a long track. Wow, that's a really long track, and he was going fast, too. Alright, uh, let's put a new engine in, and we'll do the best one I can afford right now. Uh, handle, let's do the best. And, let's go. You're... Two button is your gas, and your one button is your brakes. Slash your, uh, your special. The control on here is not that great. I'm the one with the white car with the red stripe. You'll see something that's weird about this racing game. Yeah, the controls is really weird. You see that? When someone gets so far behind, they pull them up. I'm like...
you see that? They get so close to me because they getting way off screen soon. I think that's a little. That's definitely stupid. Yeah, the controls ain't great. I'm not gonna lie, this game is not really that fun. I prefer RC Pro-Am over this. Oh. You see, I just got way back there. And it brought me back up. Damn it. I was doing so good. I'm no, I'm, I just barely, oh. That's right, it said lap two. Uh, two laps, so. That was a long lap. Yeah, the controls are not that good at all. I'm trying to remember what re other racing game. Oh, it was on the Famicom. This get no this system, but the uh, Famicom Grand Prix one. I think it was F1 Racing. It had the same type of controls where you had to tap it. That's why it reminds me of it. I think I prefer F1 racing over this. Quite frankly, I don't see the 16-bit graphics right here for sure. I mean, earlier with the drone, that was pretty cool. And the same thing with the freaking uh, Star Fox F-Wing. Yeah, I prefer playing Space Invaders over this, quite frankly. The, where you can barely see what's going on at the end of the screen is not real good um, part of the gameplay for sure. Um, screwing up now. Hopefully I can catch back up. Damn it. I knew I was going to hit the wrong button. Or the wrong direction. I'm edging him out!
I'm gonna do one more lap, uh, one more race, because this is not a fun game at all. Two laps. See, that's the only thing that kind of shows 16 bits, because how fast it's going. But that doesn't mean it's automatically, um, gotta be 16 bits right there, because Bio Ape can go at just as fast as this, and it was on the NES. Alright, let's see. Special. Grenades. What the hell is Hopper? Turbo. Well, I couldn't... Alright, let's see if that helped me out. That graphics right there looks like Atari kind type of graphics. Oh, that's it's literally you're hopping. And I'm losing speed. Well, I'm gonna automatically lose. Look, I keep on being pushed up because I'm not gaining no damn speed. I just switched over to uh, put turbo on there. Yeah, this is not no fun, I tell you that. And just get pushed way in front of me. Yeah, this is no fun. And, and empty. Game over. Yeah. This is really no fun game. Space Invaders was cool. This. <sighs> I'd play anything else. I would play RC Pro Am on the NES. I would play. Micro Machines on the NES over this. You got cool graphics right there, but I mean, the controls take it away, takes a lot of it away, and then when the gameplay is no good, and when you don't really see what's coming up in front of you until it's about to hit, and then like. This is the demo right here. See, when you can skip back up like that, what kind of... I mean, how fun is that? I'm like... It should just focus on you and screw the other race uh, racers. I don't even think there's two player on this game. Is there? The hell's trap? Str the hell's strange? <sighs> Let's do one of these. Suburb. Yeah, this looks like a suburb to me, don't you think? Uh, five grand. Let's obviously get the best engine we can get again. We'll do this one more time. Let's do this one. And... No! <laughs> what the hell? 
Yeah, that was me. I screwed up. Yeah, this is awful. I'm trying to... What the hell? Oh, uh, I think I know what I'm doing wrong. Oh, now I see why it's called strange. The freaking controls are strange. Wow, this is awful. Yeah. The controls are weird. Wow, yeah, no, this is no good. Yeah, I highly, highly suggest not this game. <laughs> Murder Rotor is not fun at all. I'm sorry. It, it gets a fail from me. And that's sad from the Turbo Graphics. I mean, this one sucks. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya. Bye.